In this video, I am going to unbox and do a review to the newest in my collections of live sound cards, which is the Live Sound Card A2, or other people would call it A2 Live Sound Card. For testing, I will be using again a condenser microphone and I'll be using also a dynamic microphone to compare them. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, and here it is. So, okay, let's open it. Of course, it comes with the manual. Okay, so looks like that. And then it comes with the three quarts, so two 3.5 mm TRRS. So, same as other live sound card, it comes with two of this for recording or live streaming. And this one is to connect to a laptop or a computer or a PC and also for charging. So it's USB type A to uh, USB type C. And now let's check this uh, live sound card A2. Okay, so for the packaging, there is no foam on top. It's just the box and this uh, uh, plastic wrap. But anyway, I'm not sure if this is the same for other uh, units. But anyway, uh, so there it is. That's what it looks like. It is glossy um, type of thing on here. I should say this is the mini version of a K1 Live sound card. If we are going to compare this with a K1 Live sound card, so K1 Live sound card is, is this one. And then this is the A2 Live sound card. So by just looking at it, as you notice, there are lots of buttons on the K1 Live sound card compared to this one. But I believe there is something on this uh, Live sound card A2 that is not found on this K1 Live sound card. Okay, let's uh, find out and test it. And now for testing, I will be using a condenser microphone as well as a dynamic microphone. And this phone here, I will be using this to uh, record. So what I will do is I am going to record what I'm doing so that uh, I can share to you also whatever I am hearing using this earphone or a headset. Before we start the connections, let me show you first the back side of this uh, live sound card A2. So the first one here is the mic. And then the next one is the 48 volt microphone and then musical instrument sound and then the headset and then this one is for the earphone and this is aux in and then live to and then this one is uh, to connect to pc or computer and then or to a phone also and the last one there is for uh, charging and that's uh, the use of uh, this one here Okay, and now let's first connect this uh, condenser microphone. So I'm just gonna be using a pop uh, filter. And because this is a condenser microphone, of course, we will connect this one to the one that says uh, uh, 48 volt microphone. So, okay, let's connect it over there. And now let's connect the dynamic microphone. Normally the end of the cord for the dynamic microphone looks like that. So what we will do is we will use this adapter, the 6.35 mm uh, female to 3.5 mm TRS. So it looks like that. So let's just connect it right there and then let's connect it to here, the one that says mic. Okay, next we will connect, of course, the headset or headphone. So I will connect this one. It's up to you if you want to connect it to the one that says headset or earphone, or even to the sound. Most of the time you connect under sound, you will connect a speaker right there for under the sound. The headset is the one with the, with the built-in microphone. So because I will be using this one with a built-in microphone, so might as well, I'll just gonna connect it to here, the one that says headset. But again, if you connect this one to the one that says earphone, uh, it will work as well. So let's connect it to the one that says headset. So this is the one we will be connecting to that. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, I will be uh, recording what I am doing so I can share to you also the, uh, the audio or sound I am hearing from this uh, headset. Okay, so I will connect it to here. So the one that says live to. 
and of course the other end I will connect to this uh, device and since this device doesn't have uh, an audio jack so I will need a lightning adapter if you are using an Android phone you can connect the other end directly to the headphone port of that device or even a tablet Okay, so we will connect this one here and then let's connect this one right there. And by the way, same as other live sound cards, this is also a rechargeable that has a built-in battery on it. And uh, you can, it not, it's not advisable to uh, charge it while using, but, but if you have no choice, you can. So which means you can charge this one, you can connect this one to a block. Let's say you can even use a power block for your phones or any uh, gadgets, small gadgets. And, or you can also connect this one to a computer. So it's charging while you're using it. So it's all up to you. Uh, before I start the testing, let me uh, point out first on here. The good thing of this A2 Live sound card is if you want to connect lots of uh, source of uh, background music. So here you can connect one here and then you can connect also another one here. Plus you can connect another source of background music uh, using the uh, Bluetooth. So in other words, if you are into um, musical, let's say if you want to connect, let's say a keyboard and then the guitar and then another one, you can connect at, le at least uh, three sources of your background music. So that is the benefit or the good thing in this A2 live sound card. And now that we're all set, let me now turn on this uh, sound card. So same as other sound cards, just hold it two to three seconds and it should uh, turn on. And since I will be using first the uh, condenser microphone, I'm going to turn on this one now, the 48 volt right there. So again, hold two to three seconds and it should turn on. Okay, it's now turned on. And from here, as, as I mentioned, I'll be recording what I'm doing. So I'm going to open the camera. I'm just using the built-in camera of this phone. And then I'll go to uh, video and then hit record. Okay, there it is. So the sound check testing one, two, the audio you are hearing is now the uh, audio coming out from this condenser microphone connected to this, uh, connected to this uh, live sound card A2. Testing one, two. And for the settings here, it's up to you, whatever is your preferred audio. So for the treble, if you want it low, then it sounds like that. If you want to treble halfway, like at noon, it sounds like that. And if you want to treble, let's say at three o'clock, then it sounds like that. And at the max, it should sound like that. So maybe let's just put it at one o'clock. And the meso, uh, I would normally put it in the middle, uh, but it's up to you to test uh, what is your preferred audio sound check testing one, two. So if it's at low, it sounds like that. If it's at uh, 12 o'clock, it sounds like that. And then at uh, the max, it sounds like that. Maybe I'm just going to put it at 12 o'clock. And then the bass, the bass, it's up to you also how much bass you wanted it to use. So at 12 o'clock sounds like that. And then uh, at three o'clock sounds like that. Maybe I'll set it at three o'clock. Okay, there it is. Okay, and the aux in here, this is, uh, this is the, uh, the uh, instrument or accompaniment. Uh, if you want to use accompaniment, this is the volume for that. And uh, the recording knob here, I should, uh, I would always uh, turn this up on high because I'm recording it right now. Otherwise, I will, my audio will not be uh, recorded. So for, let's say if you're doing live streaming or recording, I advise uh, to turn this up all the time, the recording a volume slider. And uh, the volume here, the volume slider for 48 volts, just so you know, this is the volume for the condenser microphone. So it's separate the volume control between the uh, dynamic microphone over there and then the condenser microphone. So the dynamic microphone, we, we uh, plugged in the, uh, the, uh, the audio or the volume control for that is here. And then the uh, condenser microphone volume control is over here. Okay, let me uh, just uh, test. Let me test right now the condenser, the dynamic microphone. Okay. Okay, sound check. Testing one, two. So this is the dynamic microphone. Uh, dynamic microphone is, of course, not as loud as the uh, condenser uh, microphone. 
Okay, so again, the volume for the dynamic microphone, if you are using it, is from here. Sound check, testing, one, two, one, two, three, four. Maybe let's use first this one, the original. Uh, sound check, testing, one, two. So again, this is the audio for the dynamic microphone. Even if the 48 volt here is at low, you still have uh, this uh, dynamic microphone working because as I mentioned, the dynamic microphone volume control is from here while the volume control of your condenser microphone is over here so even if i'm going to talk over here you will not be able to hear it unless unless this one is turned up okay sound check testing one two so there it is and uh, if i'm going to turn it up some more sound check testing one two then that what it should sound like okay so now let maybe i will not turn it up the to the max there it is maybe up to there only okay and uh, so the echo here it's up to you if you want some echo or reverb so if we're going to turn it up at nine o'clock it sounds like that and if you want to turn it up at 12 o'clock it sounds like that so as you notice even if the echo is at the max there is no echo because your your voice is at the original Okay, so sound check testing one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so uh, now what you should do if you want to have uh, this uh, echo or some reverb to your voice, you have to select the other ones here. Okay, let's say for example, we're going to use uh, we're going to use the yell. Okay, so this is now the yell. So yell is another voice tone. Okay, so if we're going to turn it up, up to, let's say, 9 o'clock, then your voice should sound like that. If you're going to turn it to, uh, to 12 o'clock, then your voice sounds like that. Sound check, testing 1, 2. And now at 3 o'clock, sound check, testing 1, 2. And then the maximum, sound check, testing 1, 2. Okay, let's uh, turn it up. Uh, uh, okay, let's uh, turn it down first to the lowest. Okay, and now the sound volume knob here. This is if you're going to connect to an ex external speaker or maybe a bigger speaker, then you can use this uh, sound volume control. So even if it's up, it's not going to affect anything because we're not connecting a speaker, a, an external speaker. And the Dutch, so this one, if you are playing uh, a background music while you're talking, then that is the use of that. Okay, and uh, now let's uh, try some voice tone here. Um, so let's uh, start from the uh, K-Song. Soundtrack, testing one, two. So K-Song is uh, one of the preset uh, voice tone. And as you notice, it has lots of reverb on it. Soundtrack, I believe this is like a KTV for the other type of sound card. And let's try the uh, fashion. Fashion, sound check, testing one, two. This is the fashion. So same as the K song, it sounds like it has lots of reverb as well, but somehow it's uh, different. Okay, and let's try the professional. So professional is another preset uh, voice tone also, or effect to your voice. Uh, this time I notice it has lots more of echo. Sound check, testing one, two. So again, if you prefer this type of uh, effect to your voice, then you can use that. And now let's try the DJ. Sound check, testing one, two. So the DJ has a little bit of reverb only or echo as you notice. Sound check, testing one, two. And now let's try the game. Game, sound check. So game is like uh, uh, almost same as original. An original, sound check. This is the original. And this is the game, sound check. So if you're going to select uh, the game, even if you turn the echo, the volume knob for the echo, there won't be no uh, effect or reverb or echo to, to your voice if you select the game. Okay, and now same same with the original. If, uh, if you select the original uh, button on here, so even if the echo is up, there is no uh, effect to your uh, voice. So only if you use uh, this one here, the yell. Okay, so yell, as I showed you earlier, it has effects if you select the uh, yell. Okay, so now let's go back to the game. So this is the game. As you notice, your, uh, I should say, your voice is more uh, clearer if you use the game. While if you select the original sound, your sound is a little bit deeper. 
I don't know if you noticed that, but again, this is the original sound, original sound, and this is the game sound, the game sound. And now let's try the elect electric sound. Okay, sound check, testing one, two, sound check. I believe this uh, electric sound, you can use this one also uh, if you are, let's say, doing uh, some song and you want that effect, then for sure you can use this one. Okay, so as you keep pressing on it, it gives you a different tone on your voice. Sound check, testing one, two, one, two, three, four. And then another one, sound check, testing one, two. Okay, so again, as you keep pressing it, uh, your voice uh, keep uh, changing. And uh, this one has also a, uh, a voice changer, but oh, you only have three voice changer on here. So this is the female sound. And this is the male sound. This is the baby sound. So again, let's just go back to our original voice. Okay, so unlike the K1 Live sound card, you have more uh, voice changer if you prefer the K1 Live sound card. Again, this one has only three a voice a changer, female, male, and the baby. As I showed you earlier, this K-Song Fashion Professional DJ has its own built-in preset uh, uh, reverb or echo, even if the echo here is at zero. So let's try it again. K-Song sound check, and then the fashion sound check, and professional, and DJ, and again, the game, even if this one is, is uh, turned up, then there is still no reverb or echo as well as the uh, original uh, sound. Okay, and now let's try also this uh, voice tone on here. So let's start from the number one. Sound check, testing one, two. So that is the voice tone for or effect for the number one. And then number two, this is number two. And then the number three, this is number three effect. Number four, this is number four, number four. And number five, this is number five tone. And number six, this is number six. And let's say number seven, number seven, sounds like that. And number eight, sounds like that. And number nine, sounds like that. And this is number 10, number 10. And this is number 11, number 11. And this is number 12. Number 12. So again, it's up to you if you want to use some of this one here, then feel free to feel free to use them. And now just to give you a heads up, if in case you connect three uh, background sources of your of your, let's say whatever you're doing and you want to add three sources of your background music, the volume control is only from here. So either you connect two sources of your background music, let's say you connect a guitar, and also you connect a keyboard, the, the source of that uh, volume will be from here. So I suggest just control the volume on each one. Let's say, for example, just control the volume from the keyboard itself if you want it more louder than the, than the guitar. So just do it like that. But the main volume of your background music will be from here, the one that says aux. Okay. And now let's try the... Uh, the preset sound effects on here. So let's start from Oh No. Oh No! Okay, and then the song. And then Moi. Mama, da, moi. And then Debu. I have some things to say. Awkward. And then thank, thank you. Thank you very much. And then, and then Hello. Hello. Okay. And then Observe. Uh -huh. And then Evacuate. And then Why. why? Aggregate. And then Gun. And then Clock. The spice, and then attention, attention. Okay. Lap, and then cheer, Gufa, DJ, and then pro, and then kissing. There you go. So those are the preset uh, sound effects on here. And then the use of this timeout on here, let's say, for example, we play this, uh, you press this one, and all of a sudden you want to stop that uh, sound effects, you just have to press this one. Let's say, for example, Debu. Okay, and you want to stop it, you, you don't want to finish that one, just simply uh, tap this one, time out. And same as, let's say, for example, evacuate. And you don't want to finish that, just press time out. And it will stop. Because if you keep pressing it, and then press it again, it will continue or restart. So if you want to stop it, just press this one, time out, and it will stop. And this uh, live sound card A2, you can also record 
custom uh, sound effects uh, like the K1 Live sound card. And to record is pretty much uh, the same as K1 Live sound card. So what you do is just top one of them and you will notice it will blink slowly and that only prepares you to uh, start your recording. And once you uh, see it's blinking fast or faster, then that is the time you record whatever you want. It could be from using a microphone or maybe a YouTube uh, video or sound effects. And now let's try to connect a background music. So we'll, we'll use this uh, device on here and we will first uh, connect it with the use of this uh, cord. Okay, so let's first connect it to the one that says aux in. And then of course the other end, just locate the headphone port or jack of that other device or source, then you should be good. So this one is just over there. Okay, and as I mentioned earlier, the, the volume control of your background music is from here, the one that says aux and also from the device itself. Okay, let's check first the volume on here. Okay, so it's over here. Okay, so it's almost at the max. Okay, there it is. Maybe that should be good. And now let's uh, play it. Let's see if we can hear it. Okay, there it is. Okay, so that is the maximum volume already. And if you want it more, you can still turn it up over here because it's not yet at the max on uh, this one here. So it's up to you if you want to, uh, to do that way. And now let's try connecting it to the uh, other one. So aside from the aux in, let's try connecting it to the one that says musical instrument. Okay. So let's connect it over here. Okay, let's just uh, plug it in properly. There it is. Okay, and now let's try to play it again and see if it works. And okay, there you go. So as you notice, it does work also. Okay, so let's stop it for a bit. Okay, and now if you want to connect it using Bluetooth, you can as well. Okay, so let's unplug this cord here. And now if you want to connect your background music uh, wirelessly using the Bluetooth, you can as well. So what you do is uh, go to your settings of that device. So on here, and go to Bluetooth, make sure it is uh, turned on like that. And now we're going to turn on the Bluetooth on here. So it's already over here. The A2 is already on here as the option, but it's not yet connected. So if I'm going to turn on the Bluetooth now on here, okay, so it's blinking and it says now here it's connected. So same as other sound card, whatever we play on here should be connected to this uh, live sound card A2. And of course, uh, from there we can hear it using this uh, headset. Okay, so let's go back to that uh, YouTube uh, music. Okay, there you go. So as you notice, uh, okay, so as you notice, it is now connected to here wirelessly. So, so the benefit, again, as I mentioned earlier, the benefit of this one, if you have two more, aside from this one, if you have two more uh, source of your background music, you can, because you can use uh, two more ports on here. So let me show you again. So you can use... Uh, the one that says aux in on here, and then another one here for, uh, from the musical instrument uh, port. And uh, now let's uh, give it a sample uh, using this eliminate button on here. So the use of this eliminate is, for example, you are playing a song that has vocals and you want to somehow remove the vocals and it turns into a karaoke song and you can sing along with it. You, let's uh, try this one here. So let me show you, it has vocals. Okay, so as you notice, it has vocals. And now if I want to sing along with that, and then let's say, for example, um, you wanted to like turn, it, turn that into a karaoke song, then we can turn this eliminate button on here. Okay, so let's uh, give it a try. Okay, let's play it now on here. And maybe I will use the uh, fashion this time. Sound check, testing one, two. Okay, so that is the fashion sound check. Okay, let's uh, play this one here. Okay, and now I'm going to turn on the eliminate. Okay, there you go. So as you notice, uh, you could hardly hear the vocals. But again, the audio is not as great as you notice. And now if you want to sing along with it, let's give it a little sample. Uh oh 
Kahit nga waray lain Huwag nga magpapapiling Waray magtatagkia Hinin akon kasing-kasing Okay, there you go. So again, that is the use of this eliminate uh, button. And now let's uh, test the dodge. The dodge is uh, if you are talking while you have the background music. So what it is, is as you talk, your background music goes down, the volume of that. And then as you stop talking, the volume of that uh, background music goes up. Now, if, if I'm going to play this one, Okay, so as you notice, you, you could hear that uh, background music uh, as you talk. And now if I'm going to turn this volume knob here from the dodge, okay, so something like that. And that is now at 9 o'clock. Of course, you can still hear that. But if I'm going to stop talking. Okay, there you go. And now if I'm going to turn it up, maybe at noon, and you will notice if I'm going to stop talking, there you go. Okay, and let's say, for example, let's turn it up to the max. Let's see what happened. Okay, there you go. Sound check. Testing one, two, and I'm going to stop talking now. And lastly, the denoise volume slider is to reduce the background unwanted noises or voices while you're doing your streaming or recording. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope this gives you an idea if you're planning of buying this type of sound card. Again, it's Live Sound Card A2. And if you like this type of video, please uh, give it a like. And uh, if you want more of this video, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.